principals hope you're all doing really really well it's so weird not seeing you every sunday so strange not seeing your smiling faces and so weird not hearing all about your weeks as well so i hope you're getting on really really well i miss giving you a really big hug and i miss giving you high fives as well but hopefully we can see each other really really soon now today what we're going to be doing is actually going to be going through the creation story with you. Now I know that a couple of you have probably heard it before maybe once or twice um, but today I really wanted to go through this with you so that you could be reminded of that importance and amazingness of everything around us that was created by God our creator. So we're going to start from the beginning which is the best place to start isn't it? <laughs> um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the story and listen really carefully because there is going to be a quiz at the end okay and I really want to get the questions right. So in the beginning the world was empty. There was darkness everywhere, all over the world. Now, can you imagine a world that was completely and utterly full of darkness? You wouldn't be able to see anything, would you? I know I wouldn't like that, to be honest. Um, but don't worry, because God had a plan. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And there was light. It just appeared. It was amazing. God called the light day and he called the darkness night. This was the end of the first day. On the second day, he separated the waters in the clouds above from the waters in the ocean below. He called the space between them sky. This was the end of the second day. I wonder if he's going to put things in the sky next. Next, God rolled back the water to make dry land. God made hills and mountains and plants of many shapes and colours. And this was the end of the third day. So there's nothing in the sky yet. It's the third day already. Now on the fourth day, God put a shining sun in the sky for the daytime and the moon and stars for the nighttime. And this was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God made all the different creatures that live in the oceans and rivers and birds that fly across the sky. On the sixth day, God made animals to creep, crawl, slither and gallop. Now, can you see any on here that can creep, crawl, slither or gallop? I can see a couple. There's one on here that's quite small, but slithering. It starts with the same letter, just to give you a clue. And then God made something really special. From the dust left over, God made the most wonderful creature of all. God made a person and he called him Adam. And he made Adam to help look after all the things in the world that he created. And he wants us to do that too. The next day was the seventh day. It was now that God rested. And that's why we call Sunday, the seventh day of our week, the day of rest. Now this is actually the memory verse for this week. So I really want you to try and remember this as much as you can. So God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1 verse 31. Now this memory verse is actually going to come to you in a little pack that we're going to send out to you. So look out in the post for an envelope for you. And on there, it will have your memory verse, which will be on this sheet of paper here. And it will also have some questions to chat about together. Things like, how can you look after the world a little bit better? And how can you share about God and all he's made with your friends and those around you? There's a little prayer at the bottom, so say that together. You can make your own prayer up, or you can add to this prayer. It's up to you completely. So it's really good. Now, I know you love a word search, so I've popped this in the envelope as well that's coming out to you. Uh, so keep an eye out, though. There are a couple of tricky ones in there, but I know you love a good word search. And also, I've popped in a comic strip for you. So this is where I'd like you to draw pictures and um, to actually um, describe the creation story. And the creation story is all on the bottom here for you. So it'll help you to remember uh, each day and everything what happened on every day. And lastly, I did mention there was a quiz. And um, here's the quiz for you in your pack. So you need to circle the correct answers. Now, if you're not sure what the answers are, I didn't put the answers in the pack because what I want you to do is actually want you to think about the answers yourselves. And then to check if you're right, you can have a look at your comic strip and see if you've got the right answers there. Or you can ask anyone in your home to help you to check the answers for you. Now, there's a little treat in there as well, um, just to let you know. So really, really loved um, sharing everything with you today. And hopefully we can get together really soon again. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.